Tonight, as you spin around the ballroom floor in celebration, remember that in each other's arms, your dreams are assured. May you always feel as happy and full of love as you do today. And long, long, long years from now, may you be able to look into each other's eyes and say, you are the best of the best ones. You have stolen my heart. Thank you, Brett, for choosing me as your best man and giving me two years to come up with a speech that I wrote last night. Emily is so determined, caring, and sincere. I know she has been and will continue to make the perfect wife for Brett. You are two peas in a pod. You're each other's best friends. You're each other's rocks. You two share something many people only dream of having. ancient Chinese legend about finding true love. According to this tale, the gods tie a string around the ankles of people who are destined to be soulmates. For Emily and Brett, the red thread has been winding its way through their lives for as far back as they can remember. They grew up living a block away from each other and they went to the same schools. Their love story has taken them from going to the eighth grade dance together, to dating later in high school, and of course, prom. Their college years brought them to the challenge of a long distance relationship. But despite the obstacles life has thrown their way, love always prevailed. And I wouldn't miss it for the wanted to take a moment to honor the precious loved ones who are no longer with us, but who hold a special place in their hearts, especially Emily's dad. The playwright Welly Yang wrote, we are all a culmination of the people that came before us and we're here to finish the dreams that they have left unfinished. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Brett, you have such a calming influence on Emily, something that she really needs, and especially this last year. And I know you'd do anything to make her happy. The future's bright. Let's raise our glasses to Brett and Emily. We love you so much. <laughs>